Our goal is to estimate 3D human body shape, pose, hand articulation, and facial expression from a single image. We want to do this efficiently and directly from the image pixels. Jointly predicting bodies, hands, and faces from a single network leads to mediocre results. One reason is the small size of hands and faces in full body images. Reasoning about them from low resolution image patches is hard. However, such a single network can still provide a rough initialization for hands and faces. By breaking the problem down into parts, the community has taken a divide and conquer approach. The reconstruction of bodies, faces and hands is typically approached separately with part specific models. We tackle these problems with our EXPOSE method, which stands for Expressive Pose and Shape Regression. EXPOSE introduces body-driven attention. This provides the network with higher image resolution for hands and faces and exploits knowledge for these body parts. Recent statistical 3D models such as Simplex, Atom and Gum model the body, faces and hands together. Simplify X and Monocular Total Capture fit these models to an RGB image. When they work well, they reconstruct 3D humans that are much more expressive than was previously possible. But for several reasons, these methods often struggle or even fail. First, instead of using all the image pixels, they reduce the image to 2D key points or 3D orientation fields. These are often incomplete, misdetected, and largely ignore image context. Second, they are based on local optimization and are sensitive to initialization and local minima. Finally, their runtime is prohibitive for interactive applications. Typically, optimization requires at least one minute per body and image. In contrast, Expose is a regression method that directly operates on image pixels at 5 frames per second. To train such a regressor, training data is needed that comprises images with ground truth expressive 3D bodies. However, such a dataset does not currently exist. We fill this gap by applying SimplifyX and curating good fits to several in the wild datasets. Human annotators filter SimplifyX fits in terms of fitting quality. This gives a rich training dataset of real images paired with pseudo ground truth annotations. At first glance, extending existing body regressors to the full body, face, and hands seems trivial with this dataset. However, these methods typically operate on a downsampled crop of the original image. While this suffices for reasoning about the body, the face and hands are hard to estimate at this resolution. Therefore, a naive extension leads to mediocre results. To make up for this, we need to recover the lost image resolution for hands and faces. To address this, we propose EXPOSE, which estimates the parameters of a simplex body model directly from image pixels. EXPOSE takes the following steps. We start from the bounding box of a person, extract a body image crop, and downscale to a deep net compatible resolution. We feed this to the body network and obtain a reasonable body pose estimate and a rough estimate for the face and hands. Based on the location of the face and hands, Expose goes back to the original image and extracts higher resolution image patches for them. This process is done with a spatial transformer and is thus fully differentiable. Hand and face specific subnetworks are then used to process these higher resolution patches. These subnetworks are pre trained on good quality hand and face images and then refined. Our subnetworks are conditioned on the body prediction and the rough face and hand estimates. The task of the subnetworks is to refine the hand and face parameters. This approach allows us to exploit training data from existing hand and face only datasets. However, these datasets are very different from our curated dataset of Simplify X fits. This is why we combine part-specific datasets with our full-body curated dataset in our batches to refine everything together end-to-end -to -end and bridge the domain gap. The body, face, and hand subnetworks are similar to the popular HMR architecture. However, the latter differ from HMR with respect to initialization. Specifically, they are conditioned on the earlier rough face and hand predictions of the body network. This is to take the full-body context into account. Since the initial estimates will be inaccurate, the subnetworks need to learn to start from any initialization. We achieve this robustness by systematically perturbing the head and hand configurations for the hand and face only data. We quantitatively evaluate our model on the expressive hands and faces data set. Here, we compare Expose with the older Simplify X method. Results show that Expose performs on par with existing methods in terms of realism and expressivity. However, it is 200 times faster since it is regression-based rather than optimization-based. An ablation study compares our initial rough estimation and our final estimation. 
Expose successfully refines the face and hands by restoring their resolution through body-driven attention and by leveraging knowledge from part-specific datasets. Expose does not rely on intermediate features and operates directly on image pixels at 5 frames per second. Here, we see examples of exposed predictions on several in-the-wild images. For each estimated body, we show various viewpoints for clarity. We also demonstrate results for expressive images of humans found on the web. These include a wide variety of hand gestures and facial expressions. Exposed gives natural reconstructions for a broad range of different scenarios. These include indoor images, outdoor images, fashion images, sports images, or typical selfies. Expose fails in cases of challenging occlusions, like hands in pockets or arms behind the back. Future work should address such cases with explicit reasoning about occluded body parts. We believe that fast estimation of expressive 3D humans supports many future research directions and applications. Therefore, the Expose model, code, and data are available for research purposes.